Hello and welcome to 3 Experience SOLIDWORKS as it is a cloud connected version of the SOLIDWORKS we all know and love. At its core, it's essentially the same SOLIDWORKS we have been using except now it has the added advantage that it is connected to an online cloud platform that gives you collaboration, PLM capabilities and additional advanced technologies. Here we can see the 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS Premium. In 3D Experience, we call these roles. If we click on it, we can see the role is a collection of apps. The app that we are after is SOLIDWORKS Connected. It is a 3D Experience connected to the SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin with the creating a simple sketch. And we, we are going to discover how to save it on 3D Experience as well as a local drive. So I'm going to create a simple sketch and extrude it with the 10 millimeters. If we go to the menu bar now, let's save it on a local drive, save to this PC. We have to select the specific folder and rename the file. Let's save it and try to reopen it. So let's close the file again and open it from the local drive. Here I have to select open from this PC because I'm going to use the local drive. Let's select the file and say open. Once the file has been opened, Let's try to save it on 3D Experience platform. Once the file has been saved, you can see the status has changed to green. Let's lock the file and try to close it from there. So let's go to the menu bar, close the file. I'll try to open the file from the task pane. Just put the file name and we are going to use a 6W tags where I'm going to select the type of file and on which collaborative space I have saved the file. So let's put a common space and say see results. There is only one result so drag and drop the file and in a very simple manner we can open up the file from 3D Experience platform. So let's close this one again. Moving on to a next project where I'm working with John to make a universal joint assembly. As John is working on a creating a crank knob and he has already saved that crank knob on a collaborative space. So let's try to find out the crank knob with the help of 3D Experience platform. So let's put the file name. As you can see, there are two files with the two revisions. So which one is the latest revision of the file? To determine, we can use the 6W tags. And over there, you can just say, is the last revision, say true. And that's how you can determine the latest revision of the file. Simply drag and drop that file to open up the file. Now I'm going to use the advanced mates for adding the coincident and the concentric mate together. Let's save this file for the approval process. And once again, thank you so much for your time. See you next time.